Tomology. Optical chromatic tomology? I don't know, something like that. I can't remember exactly what it's for. It's, oh, I know what it is. It takes pictures of like um, sections of your retina, basically. And I need that test. I need all these tests apparently because I got a notice from my doctor telling me to set them up and I don't know why exactly, but um, I, maybe she knows something I don't know. I mean, I have been having some weird vision problems, but I didn't tell her about them. Or maybe it's the freckle. I have a freckle in my eye. Makes sense, I have freckles everywhere else. But a freckle in the eye, which is also called a, a, a nevus, is a spot on the inside of my eye that can turn to cancer. I have one that's on the back of the retina, which has a specific name that I don't remember the, the name of right now while I'm driving. But yeah, the last time I had an eye exam, the doctor was like, well, I'm sure that you've been told about the, the, the nevus. And I was like, I do not know about the nevus. And so she told me, apparently she thought it had been there a long time, but if it has been, nobody's ever mentioned it before. And I know people have looked in my eyeball before. So anyway, she said that I have to get my eyes checked more often now. and. In two miles, take exit 37A to merge onto I-93 South toward Boston. Okay. And then there's one other reason that she could have ordered these tests. And that is that um, I went to the rheumatologist last year and they did some tests and apparently I scored really high. It's great to have a high score, but I scored really high on this test called the anti-CCP test, which is the current like most accurate uh, diagnostic for rheumatoid arthritis. Now, I don't have any signs of rheumatoid arthritis type damage in my joints. I have osteoarthritis, but I don't have any signs of rheumatoid arthritis in my joints. Continue straight, then use the right lane to take exit 37A to merge onto I-93 South toward Boston. But apparently, my fantastic high score, my, my gold star, my A plus, uh, is an indicator that at some point I will be hit with some, with a very severe case of rheumatoid arthritis. That's what they tell me. I'm, you know, I'm not trying to go there Use mentally. The right lane to take exit 37A to merge onto I-93 South toward Boston. It's nice to be interrupted by Mrs. Google when you're talking about something heavy, right? So anyway, a normal score is 20. A high score is over 50. My score is over 250. So that is apparently a benchmark of this very severe form of rheumatoid arthritis that is apparently coming to get me at some point in my life. A lot of my family are kind of ostriches when it comes to health. My mother in particular. I could go that route very easily because, you know, why bring that into my head? You know, why bring that kind of negativity into my head? But I have to just look at it as information. Right? Information is neutral. Information is not negative or positive. It's information. It's just facts. So I'm on a little bit of a fact-finding mission. Oh, and how my eyes are involved is that RA can affect your eyes. I know no meds who have RA and other immune system stuff. And there are great role models out there 
I know nomads in wheelchairs who have modified vans. I know people that don't have use of their hands that have modified vans and don't have use of their feet. Then, like you can do this in any condition, except that I don't know any nomads who are blind. And it's hard for me to think of how you could modify a vehicle for that. So, yeah, but I don't know why I went there, because these are just tests and that's that and we're going right now. Take the exit. The garage is the parking for the hospital, but I can't fit in there, obviously, so I always park in this municipal lot when I have to come here. Okay, so let's recap. Glaucoma, optic nerve damage, eyeball cancer, rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, pretty good selection. Wish me luck. I'm hungry. spot ponds that's where I'm having my lunch well I had two of the tests the fundus it turns out I read the schedule wrong and I don't have the fundus until January so we'll wait on that one but uh, I had the OCT which is the op optical coherent tomography and I had the HVF which is a visual field test I don't know what the H is for and why there's not a T but that's what they say so here's the deal uh, the tests were not ordered because someone thinks I'm going blind and doesn't want to tell me. The tests were ordered because they want to get a baseline on my vision and the appearance of my eyes because I was on a medication called hydrochloroquinone, which you may remember is the medication that our illustrious president, Donald J. Trump, touted as being the cure to the cure to COVID. It's not the cure to COVID, not even close, but it caused a run on the drug and I was prescribed this drug, but then I couldn't get the prescriptions filled because there just wasn't any. So I just stopped taking it. So I'm not even taking the drug anymore. That's supposed to cause the blindness. That's supposed to what these, this baseline was supposed to, you know, is designed to measure. Just the other day, I told a friend of mine, listen, there's plenty of time to freak out and be anxious if something happens. You're right now freaking about something that may or may not happen and you're going to give yourself days of agony over it. So why not just wait until there's actually something going on to be freaked out? And that's great advice. The problem is I can't take that advice myself for some reason. And I spent last night and today thinking that I was going to be told today that I'm going blind. I might be going blind. I don't know. But why am I worrying about it today? I took myself really far toward blindness today and it's one thing to um, be informed and to not be an ostrich it's another thing to be leap into conclusions so I to try to stay out of all the catastrophes and just um, pay attention to what's real what's actually happening and you guys are one thing that's happening I appreciate you being here and thanks for going to the eye doctor with me because I think I needed the company if you've been around for a while, you probably remember when Cowboy went to the doctor or he just was going for tests one day and I was so nervous about it that I went to the beach. This is a video that I took at the beach. So check it out and I'm going to see you the next time.
I'm going to be able to see you too because I'm not going blind yet. Maybe not ever. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. It's all an adventure, right? <laughs> <laughs>